I have my whole table filled with stuff. Chapter 1. Short explanation. You will see me making four rugs, all with the same pattern, but with different materials. The pattern of the sleeves is going to be the same all, with each video. For the bodices, I'm going to use a few different styles. Chapter 2. Making the pattern. The piece I'm planning on, I always do with freehand drawing of the sleeves, so I'll have to make a pattern now to make each one the same. For fun's sake, I'm placing this one here. We Take the underarm measurement. To the wrist it's 46, but I like to have a little bit extra. As I like lots of these, I do at least twice as much of the circumference here. Here I'm drawing and cutting the puff sleeve. Next time I will use a darker pencil. I pressed it a while before using the pattern. Chapter 3. Cutting. Drawing and Cutting out the red pattern on a red shakar fabric. This is a trick of mine. The spare fabric that you have of a specific fabric, fold it in the fabric. This white sturdy lace I use for the cuffs. Then we have the hand test, because it will be a closed cuff. Your hand needs to fit through. The second one. Oh, da, ba, da, ba, da. A synthetic blend, supple, structured fabric with a little stretch. Vintage lace. Je vous présente. Next one, thick, stretch, lace, which is very structured. This is such a cool fabric. I can very nicely place it here so I can spare as much fabric as possible. For this one, I had this lace. And then we have our most supple fabric. It doesn't get much more supple than this. It's a vintage stretch chiffon. And very satisfying to work with. Happy little petal. And with this one I choose a very supple lace. Because otherwise if you use stiff lace it may damage the fabric. Here we are. Four types of fabric. As you can see this one... Yeah. This one is stretchy but rather voluminous. This one is already a bit more floppy. And this one if I... Uh, yeah. Chapter 4. Sewing the red rug. Important. Also. Here I start sewing the bodice together. After this I pleat the sleeve ends. Other direction for the other side. And I thought this was important. And the cuffs. And the vintage red lace goes around the bodice. Mirrored it. And pleating on the smaller version of it on the other side. It's a very stiff lace that gives nice ripples. Sewing the cuffs on. A nice trim. Sewing the sleeves. And at last I... So in the puff sleeves. First one is done. Then I go to the second one, a black structured yet supple fabric. Again pleating, sewing the cuffs, searchy seams all around, separating the lace before pleating it on. And putting on the other side a nice plissé trim. Very important. To make sure it's symmetrical. And here I'm inserting the puff sleeve. The second one is done. Going to sewing the black lace rug. Again pleating the sleeve end. Pleating the other way around. Putting it through the searcher. All is going well. Pleating the scallop lace around the bodice. I'm keeping it super dense, please, this one. And another scallop lace, smaller on the other side. There goes the cuffs again. And a nice broad lace trim. There goes the sleeve. 
and inserting the puff sleeve. Yeah. Sewing the chiffon thread. I can fit the whole fabric of this piece in my hand. It's very hard to see which side of the fabric is the right one, but I find it very important to get it right. And there we go. The last one through the searcher. Making all seams with dark grey threads. Happy little pleats. What happened to my second camera? Oh well. The cuffs, very, very nice lace trim. I see a dying plant. I got to rescue it. I rescued it. And then I finished the truck. Cute stretchy soft lace around the neckline. Again, make sure everything is soft when you work with this fabric. And there goes the last puff sleeve. Now we have four happy puddles. And now I will show the end results. Chapter five, the results on dress form. Here is the lace one. What is nice here is the very stiff pleated vintage lace, which gives a lot of volume. You can see that well from the side. This lace is for a lace quite stiff, the fabric. This is the second all black one. This one in the more formal fabric. And also with more lace trim and less ruffles. A voiceover for my chiffon one, as my son was chirping in the background. You can see how supple it is. I think this gives a very nice effect, especially at the cuff. Here is the red one. I now deep puffed it a bit, but I can also do this, which gives it a cool theatrical effect. So yeah, those were the end results and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, I can recommend this playlist. Otherwise you can go to my front page to see all of my videos. And here's a video on how I saw a color. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.